that didn't work, I severed all the tendons in my hand and lost the use of my hand a lot. But it hadn't worked and a week later I um, took a mass overdose there in that bandstand on, in Stanley Park right there. And um, I stole a lot of tablets from somebody's house where I was sleeping on the couch with their dog because I was homeless at the time. And um, I took a lot of this woman's medication, a lot of sleeping pills and things, a massive overdose. And um, I sat in a deck chair in the park and I took all these tablets drinking water out of the lake. And I thought, I just don't want to be here anymore. I was hurting really, really bad. And I was really, really lost. Um, so I did die that night. But apparently, the next morning, the park keeper found me at 11 o'clock the next morning and, well, I'm told that he fireman's lifted me straight to A&E, to the hospital, and I was on a life support and it took, and I was clinically dead. It took 20 minutes of, like, the electro things that they put on you to bring me back. Um, and I was in a coma for three days. Um, when I woke up in hospital, I, I was sick as a parrot because I didn't, didn't want to be here. Um, but I met an old lady in hospital who told me about Jesus. Um, I've been to Sunday school when I was little, but you don't really think you take it on board or anything. But she told me about Jesus, and I listened, and um, it was really, really lovely. So um, I suppose. My testimony is about how God pursues you and you don't even really realise it. Um, from there, I actually went into the drug scene and um, her son was a drug dealer. And because I loved her and she was praying for me and she'd helped me, I wanted to help him. But I hadn't given my heart to Jesus. I didn't really know him. I knew of him, like you hear a story. Um, but I had respect for her, so I tried to help him, and I was with him for seven years, and I ended up on heroin for the last three of them, myself, in a really, really, really bad way. And I was looking for all different kinds of religions. I looked through Buddhism, and um, the Egyptian books of the dead, and I, I was searching spiritually, because I was never a materialistic person, but I never found him. Um, it got to the point with me where I was so ashamed to even go out during the day that um, I used to sneak out at night. But there were some people um, handing out tracts and preaching the gospel in the town centre. And it was raining and I picked one up out of the, a puddle. And I went home and I was really, really lost. And it said on it, on it something like, if you've come to a point in your life where um, everything's unma unmanageable and you don't know what to do, give your heart to Jesus and he'll give him the reins of your life. And I said all this prayer and I thought, well, I remember Jean, this lady, and she was really, really lovely, but I thought it wasn't for me because it, you think of like older ladies in flowery dresses and hats sitting in pews and it all seemed very boring. But, um, but I, I was desperate and so I did. I gave my heart to Jesus and things started magically happening. Um, I found a Bible in a school that was being pulled down, Tilsley School. The words were jumping out at me and cut a long story short, um, I, I genuinely learned to communicate with him like I do now. I'm trusting he's given me the strength to speak today because in, in my own self I couldn't say a word to anybody in public like this. But um, I've got a great relationship with Jesus and Life still has its ups and downs at times, and loads of stuff's happened. But I know a million, million percent, he's with me every minute of every day. And I talk to him like, he, I mean, he, like he's there. <laughs> People say I've got an imaginary friend, but he's not imaginary at all. You know, my life is so brilliant now, I'm so happy. And even when everything goes wrong, I call out to him and I'll say, oh, what do I do about this, you know? <laughs> And he sorts it out for me every single time. He's amazing. He is absolutely real. He's real. It's not just a fairy story. It's not just a fable or a myth or anything like that. It's genuinely real, honestly. There's hearing about someone and there's meeting somebody. So I would just say to anybody today who's heard about Jesus but just thinks it's all 
Give him a go on your own. Call out to him. He's real. Well done, dear. Yeah, and, and there's 